morning to you all so today we are going to revise the chapter happiness but before the revision of this chapter let us start uh, let us discuss some of the writing skill based questions that you will get in your exams okay that uh, what kind of writing skill based questions you will get okay as you people are in doubt so for some other topics i'm going to discuss with you okay not for that short story as well as descriptive paragraph okay these two are in your syllabus so for that first of all suppose if we have a question from letter to editor suppose the question will be just a moment please yes the question will be in a letter to the editor we do not options are give our suggestions ask the editor to take any action express our views or express our concern and grievance yes because you won't and you never ask the editor to take any kind of action okay so in a letter to editor we should what we should do exclude salutation we exclude salutation in letter to editor no we include exclude complimentary close no because we include complimentary close also and include subject line subject line is also there and include the editor's name no editor's name we don't write because in general we are writing the editor the name of the newspaper okay which of the following is appropriate for a letter to editor okay what are the things which are applicable yours obediently yours faithfully yours sincerely yours ever yours obediently yours faithfully yours sincerely yours ever yours sincerely otherwise okay because otherwise we are not writing okay what are we have taught you is to write only yours truly okay but otherwise you can write in a letter of complaint we must okay what we write <laughs> not try to displease the recipient of the letter not in oh, sorry introduce ourselves be very soft and pleasant and be rude we must we must be rude we must be what we must do okay it is to be very soft and pleasant introduce ourselves yes we introduce and not try to displease the recipient of the letter we need to be soft and pleasant we use soft and pleasant tone but the thing is that what we are going to deliver we definitely deliver in that manner if it is a complaint we often make the complaints okay yes next what is most important in a letter of complaint what is most important nature of complaint your angry tone your grievance or what exactly you want what is most important it is what exactly you want your grievance is also yes your grievance is most important what you are going to show you are going to deliver is most important ha huh? grievance yes okay so suppose next in the next one they have given uh the sender's address first is 40 green park next line basant avenue amritsar next is he has written this i am writing on board suppose it will be 40 green park basant avenue amritsar okay the second option is there they have given comma after 40 and in the third one they have given comma after avenue and the fourth one is 40th second option second option is the right option okay so you should know that how to write down okay so each very minute details is of great importance okay you should have the complete details you should know how to write down and only then you will be able to attempt so in this manner you will have the writing skill based questions now any doubt to you 
Is it clear to you all? Okay, fine. That's good. Suppose one more question is there. The objective of a formal letter is to what is the objective of a formal letter? To keep alive a personal relationship, achieve a definite purpose, evoke a sense of actual meeting, or revive old memories. Because it is achieve a definite purpose. Because it is for a definite purpose. What we are doing, we are writing a formal letter. Otherwise, we are not writing. Okay, because. Uh, for personal relationships, we are not talking about in these, okay? And evoke a sense of actual meeting? No, we never want through formal letter. And uh, reviving old memories? It is not a not an informal letter, okay? Official letters are written in a what kind of language they are written? Difficult, positive and polite, rude and highly verbose. Positive and polite. polite. The subject with which the letter deals is written. How the subject is written? Between subscription and signature, between salutation and the first paragraph, before the address of the writer, between date and salutation. Date and salutation. Between date and salutation, you are writing the subject. So now you got how the writing skills will be there. Any doubt now? Okay, that's fine. So... It is clear to you all now that how the writing skill questions will be there and you have to attempt accordingly. Fine. That's fine. You people will be able to do now in exams. Now coming back to the revision of Happy Prince. Okay. So now what the chapter Happy Prince is about. The main theme that the chapter Happy Prince delivers is that Okay, beauty lies, okay, in the good acts, in the heart, but not in the displaying beauty. Moreover, the people who are helpful towards others, who are, you can say, who are always eager to help others, they are always appreciated by God. Otherwise, those people who have an unfeeling behavior towards others, who turn a deaf ear towards the feelings of others, they are never, you can say, God is never pleased by them and they are never appreciated by God, okay? So this is what we are going to uh, going to see in this chapter. So in this chapter, first of all, who are, which is the main character? Happy Prince. Happy Prince. So what are the main qualities of the Happy Prince? That first of all, he was kind of host, but let us start with the very start that where his statue was situated. It was situated on a tall column in the center of the city. Okay, there was a ruby where it was fixed on sword hilt. Eyes made up of two precious stones called as sapphires, covered with, gilded with gold sheets. And had a large I have written to be on the sword health. It was there. Okay. So this happy prince, it was situated giving a golden sheen to the environment. So, okay. So why this happy prince is called a happy prince? Why it is called as happy prince? Because why he was called as happy prince? Because, because during his lifetime, he has never witnessed any kind of sorrow. Moreover, uh, sorrow as well as worries, they were not allowed to enter his kingdom, palace, okay? And his minister, he used to laugh, he used to smile throughout his life. So this is the reason why he was called as happy prince, okay? So one day what happened? A swallow perched, okay? And came and sat at the foot of the happy prince, tall column of the happy prince at the foot of the happy prince. Okay. So where did this fellow was going? It was going to it was going to Egypt. Why it was going to Egypt? Because it was a migration season. Okay, why he was going? Because it was a 
migration season and he was going to uh, to migrate to egypt and all his friends has already gone there because this swallow he has left behind so ultimately what has happened he stayed behind in order to spend some time there in order to take rest for a night but what happened when the swallow was uh, swallow has you can say alighted its flight at the feet of the happy prince so what kind of feeling it has what kind of feeling it has the swallow what kind of feeling it has yes he was you can say the swallow was happy that it was a golden room golden room he has and ultimately he was well, he was you can say fascinated by the you can say glare of the golden color that was being displayed because of the why this golden color is being displayed it is because the statue of the happy prince is covered with golden sheets okay all his body it was made up of gold right so what happened when the swallow alighted at the foot of the happy prince then what happened suddenly a drop of water it fell onto the body of the swallow okay first of all what the swallow thought that it was it was rain what he thought after looking at the sky he thought that the sky is quite clear there are no clouds but from where does this rain comes then another drop fell and after that another drop fell so then what happens he, then he has noticed that it was not the rain but actually the eyes of the happy prince they were filled with tears and those tears were falling upon the swallow upon asking by swallow what did the happy prince told happy prince told that what he has noticed he has noticed the poor as well as the suffering condition of the seamstress okay poor condition as well as the suffering condition of the seamstress but before that happy prince told about told about his about his life okay of his past life so what he has told about his past life he has told that when he was alive he was living in a palace and sorrow as well as suffering was not allowed to enter his palace he was quite happy there and his ministers or his courtiers they used to call him as happy prince because he has never witnessed any kind of sorrow in his life okay so then what happened but now why he was worried by there were tears because he has seen the suffering condition of a seamstress suffering condition of of seamstress so who is this seamstress what she was doing okay she was embroidering flowers on the satin gowns of the queens queens maids of honor okay for the state ball for the state ball so what she was doing she she was embroidering flowers on the satin gowns of the queens maid of honors which they are going to wear on the state ball dance okay so but what 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 is the reason of suffering because his young boy who was suffering from fever he was lying on the bed he was tossing from yes he was she, he was tossing from one side to another she was unable to pay any attention towards his boy moreover his boy was asking for oranges but she did not have any money and what she did not have any money to be given to uh, to give him to any oranges she had only river water what she has only river water to be given so what happened when happy prince looked at the poor condition of the seamstress he has told the swallow dear swallow please help me kindly stay with me for one day and and take out that ruby from the sword hilt and drop it or give it to the seamstress so what was given to seamstress it was the ruby stone okay it was the ruby stone which was given to the seamstress so what did the swallow did he took out that ruby stone ruby precious ruby stone out of the sword hilt and had made a flight around the house 
but in the house there was a small window which was open from that window the swallow had entered the house and while the seamstress was sitting beside he was little bit in oblivion condition and then what happened the swallow he had made a round around the bed of the young boy he fan with his wings and the boy felt bit relaxed and he was able to sleep he has dropped the ruby on the side of the table where thimble was placed what was placed thimble, thimble. what is thimble finger okay which is used while embroidering the flowers okay so he has placed it there right okay so this is how after coming back the swallow has disclosed his feelings to happy prince so what the swallow has said he has said that now he is feeling quite satisfied and contented okay and he has a feeling of special time of warmth what this kind of warmth was it is a warmth of helping someone it is a warmth of contentment it is a warmth of happiness okay so this is the happy prince who has told the swallow that what is it okay so now next day the swallow was again you can say he was again determined to go to to go to egypt he said tomorrow morning he had a bath at the river and ultimately coming back he told the prince his plans that today definitely i will go to i will go to egypt but next afterwards again the prince said dear swallow please do a favor for me okay please stay with me for one more day as what he has seen down next time what he has seen what he has seen he has seen a playwright okay who was sitting on his desk okay and on the side of the table what were there withered violets withered violets in a glass or in a vase where in a vase and yes desk was covered with papers covered with papers he has red lips forming grenade colored lips large dreamy eyes okay large dreamy eyes okay dreamy eyes which were filled with sorrow okay why they were filled with sorrow now coming up to this point why they were filled with sorrow because he was trying to finish his play for the director of the theaters but he was not able to finish it as he was feeling entirely cold as there was no fire in the in the fireplace in the garret and he has no wood because he did not have any money so it is because of this reason he was feeling very he was feeling very cold and was unable to finish his play so the happy prince he has noticed his condition and he thought that this play right he needed his help so now this time what he has told he has told the swallow to take out one sapphire okay what he has take what he should take out to take out one sapphire and it is to be given to to the young playwright okay so now as there was a hole in the garret so the swallow it flew away and held it held the playwright and ultimately what has happened after helping the playwright yes he what he has done he, what he has done he has shown that sapphire on the side of the table where these withered violets were placed and again it means that swallow held the happy prince so why did swallow help happy prince why he did not go to egypt why he did not go to egypt nay what you you do you know or what you come to know about the swallow what what she has what he has sorry it means you are only saying that swallow was moved by kindness and generosity of only happy prince it means he is not kind she uh, uh, swallow too had soft and kind heart okay he was also of kind nature he was also of generous nature he is also filled up with the feeling of selfless service towards others it is just because of this reason that swallow has sacrificed his you can say flight to egypt 
he has stayed there although he knew that the weather won't be favorable for him he knew that soon it will start snowing and he won't be able to survive over here but still he has gone he has not gone to egypt he has stayed over there right so it means that he too had gen generous spirit so it means for every question you should have the reason okay that why it happened these kind of questions you will also get okay so next afterwards <coughs> once a fire was given okay so then afterwards after giving this next what happened then again the swallow was again ready to go to egypt okay but then again the happy prince has requested yes requested the swallow to stay along with him for one more night because why now he has seen the poor match girl okay where she was standing she was standing in the in the square of the city that is the center which you can see which you can say the round about of the city okay what she was selling she was selling the matches or match sticks okay and they have been dampened what is the meaning of dampen got wet they have been dampened with water because they have fallen into the gutter and she was crying okay because she was feeling that she should be beaten with by her father as she would not be able to take any money home after selling those matches so again the happy prince he has noticed her condition and what he has told the swallow to take another sapphire out of his eye and to be given to this match girl to so this was swallow ready no swallow was not at all ready okay the swallow was not at all ready to take out that sapphire and give it to happy prince why the swallow was not ready that he would turn blind yes of course so be, this is the reason that he thought that he said that no dear prince i won't be able to take out another sapphire out of your eye because this would make you blind okay you would know you would not be able to see the world and to this what was the reply of the happy prince no you have to take out that sapphire and you will be my eyes you will see around the world and narrate the entire condition of my city and you will be my eyes towards the city okay so this is how what happened finally the swallow agrees and with heavy heart he has taken out another sapphire okay he has taken out another sapphire so another sapphire the third sapphire second sapphire it was given again to the match girl okay the match girl was standing in the center of the city she was extending her hand out in this manner and then what happened what he has done the swallow has flown okay around the match girl and has thrown that you can say sapphire onto her extended palm or her or her hand and she thought it to be a shining only shining piece of stone but actually what it was she did not know it was a precious stone which was given by by happy prince and where from where these sapphires have been brought from india from india thousand of years ago these sapphires have been brought by his ministers and finally in order to make his statue embellished these sapphires have been fixed onto his eyes so then what happened this in this manner he has also helped help the help the match girl but now the happy prince was not able to see his entire city but still he was concerned about the condition of his people he wanted to know what kind of life his people were living so what he has told he has told the swallow to have a flight over the city and tell me or narrate him the actual condition of the people the swallow did have a flight and what he has told he has told that rich people were making merriment they were busy in their enjoyment but the poor people what they were doing they were sitting only outside their home gates and what they were waiting they were just waiting for money or they were just waiting for alms okay they were they were in you can say they were in poor condition they were in distressed condition also and then happy prince has told take out one and and he has also noticed that under the arch of a bridge who were sitting two boys two boys were sitting clasping each other's bodies why because they did not have any clothes to wear and what they had only they were trying to keep themselves warm with the heat of the body of each other so listening to this the happy prince felt very sad at his heart he thought to help them he had not any you can say precious thing left with him but still he thought 
of the golden sheets with which his body was covered. And yes, one thing I have forgot to tell you: what was the heart of the happy prince made up of lead? He had a leaden heart. He had a leaden heart. Okay, it was very heavy metal, which of which it was made of made up of. So then, afterwards, happy prince said that when I was alive, I knew only two things: that money or gold can make people happy. When it was, he said, I don't, I did not know the amount or the actual price of it, but I know. that people got happy when they get gold so take one one sheet and give to all the people who are suffering in my city in order to help them so in this manner what happened all the golden sheets which were covering the body of the happy prince they were given to to the poor people and now it has you can say the happy prince is no longer beautiful okay it has tarnished it has turned out to into only a, you can say this pleasing creature or this pleasing statue in the center of the city so one day what happened the mayor as well as the councillors they have also come okay in order they they were they, they were also not happy they were also displeased by the you can say disapproving nature of this statue but before that what has happened after helping it one what happened because it started snow and snowing and started to be frosty over here Swallow was not able to make any flight. He has turned out to be very weak, and he was only you can say he was only eating the bread crumbs that were available in the nearby shops. And then what happened? What happened? Then it you it's yes. He sat on the uh, shoulder of the happy prince, and he said that today is my last day. And can I uh, can I kiss you? And finally, happy prince kissed the swallow on his lips, and ultimately. that was the last day of the swallow swallow fell onto the feet of the happy prince it means where the swallow died at the feet of the happy prince okay at the feet of the happy prince it died the moment the swallow died there was a big crack to be heard in the statue of happy prince what was that cracking sound it was the cracking sound of the breaking of the leaden heart of happy prince so after that the mayor and the councillors were on its tour in the city then what happened they have noticed the poor as well as disapproving nature of the statue or condition of the statue and they thought that the statue is to be removed from here and moreover the expert advice was also taken from the from the professor of art and art professor also and he has also disapproved this presence that that the presence of the happy prince in the city in the center of the city is actually disapproving its condition then what happened the statue was removed from the tall column it was melted in the furnace but what happened this leaden heart it won't melt okay it won't melt in the furnace then what happened it was thrown on a heap of trash it was thrown on a heap of trash where what happened where the dead swallow was also was also thrown and before that what was there the mayor has announced to be a proclamation what is proclamation means formal announcement law okay to be made okay to be made and uh, where it must be announced through this proclamation that no bird is allowed to die at the foot of the happy prince of this of the statue of the happy prince so it was also the dead body of the swallow was also thrown on the trash and then what happened in the uh, in the heaven god has told his angels bring two beautiful things from earth and what they have brought they have found yes they have found two things one was the leaden heart of the happy prince and the dead body of the swallow and finally it was taken to god and god appreciated them why because they had uh, they had a heart made up of gold actually uh, filled up with selfless service they have sacrificed their lives for the help of others and yes finally the god said that this prince shall always stay in my heaven in my garden of paradise where he will praise me always means he will always be there to remain happy and the swallow will always sing in the garden of heaven so this is all about the story of happy prince and i hope that now it is clear okay any doubt you will be able to do any type of reasoning questions okay so that's all for today and tomorrow we will have the revision of the next topic okay so thank you